Welcome to another episode of the Watchlist series. Today, we take a look at IL inhibitors and whether or not they are the right class of biologic to be testing on COVID-19 patients. Regeneron is a great American biotech company. They have developed a number of breakthroughs, and with the onset of COVID-19, the New York State-based company has been all in working tirelessly and continuously to try to find treatments for COVID-19. Now, along with French giant Sanofi and other pharmaceutical companies, considered repurposing powerful biological drugs called IL-6 inhibitors. Now, this stands for interleukin-6, which is a cytokine relevant to many inflammatory disease, as well as cancers. Now, a number of IL-6-based drugs, such as Regeneron and Sanofi's Seralumab, were sought to perhaps help severe to critical COVID-19 patients. The idea was to treat patients to prevent the so-called cytokine storm, which often with COVID-19 turns deadly. Hence, major studies were commenced to test this drug, also called by its brand name of Kevzara. The phase three clinical trial failed to meet its primary endpoint and key secondary endpoints when the drug was added to best supportive care compared to best supportive care alone, i.e. with placebo. Now, in the primary analysis group, adverse events were experienced by 80% of Kevzara patients and 77% of placebo patients. Serious adverse events that occurred in at least 3% of patients and more frequently among Kevzara patients included multi-organ dysfunction syndrome, 6% Kevzara and 5% placebo, and hypotension, 4% Kevzara and 3% placebo. And so the industry sponsors, that is Regeneron and Sanofi, have halted this US-based clinical trial, including a second cohort of patients who received a higher dose of Kevzara, or 800 milligrams. Now, both Regeneron and Sanofi have commented in a press release to submit detailed peer-reviewed disclosure of what happened in this particularly publicly financed clinical trial. There are several other Kevzara studies ongoing involving COVID-19 patients. So what are the implications of these results for those studies? Now, additionally, another major pharmaceutical company, Basel, Switzerland-based Roche, has a comparable drug called Actemra, or tocilizumab. The IL-6 inhibitor is now in at least 43 clinical trials around the world. If the IL-6 inhibitor approach failed with Regeneron and Sanofi, can it succeed elsewhere? Well, it just so happens that without much fanfare or press, an Italian clinical trial evaluating the use of Roche's Actemra in patients with early-state COVID-19 pneumonia found that the anti-inflammatory biologic didn't improve patients' severe respiratory symptoms reduce ICU visits, or cut mortality rates better than the standard of care. The Italian regulatory agency called IFA reported that this study was the first such randomized test in the world involving Roche's Actemra in COVID-19 patients. The study results point to the questioning of the hypothesis that IL-6 inhibitors such as Actemra and Regeneron help patients with COVID-19. Trial site news will continue to look into studies involving these drugs. It is becoming apparent that powerful IL-6 biological drugs, while they have a place where they can actually save lives, in the case of COVID-19, this prognosis is looking exceedingly dim. And that, my friend, brings us to close another episode of the Watchlist series. Thank you so much for joining us. As always, we appreciate you being here, and we will see you next time.